Good day. We are here to show you how to create and send a note card, which can be a great way to、uh, communicate longer forms of information than what could fit in a regular instant message. So, the first part creating is really easy. All you got to do is pop open your inventory. Just click the inventory button on your toolbar. Then you can choose create menu and new note, or you can simply right click. Doesn't matter where, anywhere. Right click and. New note. So remember, it doesn't have to be in the note cards folder. You can do it somewhere else too. See, new note works there too. Okay, we got two. I'll just close one with that X. So we have this one open. New note. What are we gonna type? Well, I'm a melonzilla, so I shall type in the best form I know. Roar. I imagine your note would be more articulate, but this is just an example. So now that we save it, now we close it again, and we want to rename the note. Say, you know, hello, roar. It's a polite way. Now, okay. Now we got our note card, right? Open, close, and how do we send it? There are several ways. <laughs> Now, one of them is you see Torley Junior here. If you're avatar to avatar in Second Life, you can directly drag and drop it. So, if your inventory is open, click and drag it to the avatar. You notice, you notice the icon. Its cursor changes and just release, and then Torley Linden accepted your inventory offer. There you go. Uh, another way, of course, is if they're on your friends list. If you've exchanged friends, that's normally here. An add friend, then they'll show up. So I got Torley Linden on mine, and you can find you can find them. Say I'm far away. Okay, I'm just gonna fly away, like they're not here with me. Bye, Torley. Okay, you click friends, and then you click profile, and you see. It says drop inventory item here, but you don't just have to drop there. It works anywhere. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, okay. See, there's a plus symbol with the cursor, and you just drop, and then give you the same message again. And of course, you can also do this through the I M window. Click that, and then you can start a session or just double click and profile. So those methods they involve showing the profile, and again, yep, you got it. Drag, drop. Release and you've sent your note card. Voila. However, if the resident you want to share a note card with isn't on your friends list, you can always use search. Okay, and this will also cover another possibility if they're offline. So search people tab. It's a rather big window, and I just type Torley Linden. Well, there we go. Hello, Torley Linden. Profile comes up. If there's more than one match, you just click on them, and you'll see it on the right. As long as you see their profile, that's what matters. Profile, profile, and then click, drag, release, and then you'll get a message: user not online, inventory has been saved. That's how you know it was sent to them. Well then, what do you do to read a note card after you received it? It's easy. I've just logged in here as Torley Linden, and I can go click on inventory. Just go to your note cards folder. That is where they end up. Okay. See, hello, Roar, and I've got the nice Roar note card. <laughs> A really useful tip you should know is that you can embed items in a note card as long as they're fully permissive, which means they're copyable, modifiable, and you can transfer them. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just go to the Create menu, you know, New Note, and say I want to share some landmarks in a note card as part of a presentation. Okay, so you know, like something like Check out these places. They are fun.、Oop. Okay, now it's the same drag and drop, drag. Drop, release. See, shows up. Drag, drop, release, and you can do this with other stuff too. Like if I want to send a photo to someone, oh, a texture, either one. Okay, I could send. You know,、um, here is my cool his house. Okay, do 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 do. It's just very rough, very example-y. <laughs> drag, drop, release. See how easy it is.、Uh, drag, drop. Oop. Why doesn't that one work? Oh, why doesn't that one work? Isn't that interesting? Oh, it's because I have not set the permissions correctly. You see, it's not fully permissive. I want to share it, so click, well, click. Now it's copyable. Click. Now it's modifiable, and then watch. Now I can share it. So check the permissions. If it doesn't allow you to, that's probably why. Now you can put it there. So when you save it. You send it off to someone. All they got to do is click on it, and it activates it like it normally would from your inventory. It opens it up. So, see, got the texture there, or the landmark. You'll see the landmark window. Or first, you'll copy it, then you'll show it, just like that.